Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Uh, happy to bring you guys Blunder and CBB today. Hypest match of SPL so far. I uh, had over 2,000 people on, on S-Tours watching this shit, so it got lit. Uh, it was fun to watch live, so I'm happy to be doing the narration for this game too. So, yeah, uh, look at the team. So Blunder brings the same team he brought last week. This was a CBB team that uh, he originally used in week two. Uh, so... There's definitely the possibility that Blunder could have changed a couple of the sets, uh, especially knowing that CBB knows this team really well. But if he keeps all the sets the same, it's uh, double specs with Hydreigon and Keldeo, uh, Pursuit Metagross, uh, Scarf Lando, Colbert Jellicent, and Spadeferox Tran. Uh, CBB's side, he's got... This team is looking kind of whack, I'm not going to lie, just because his Keldeo switching is Keldeo. Um... <laughs> I already don't like that, but like, and especially because you know Blunder likes Keldeo, but I guess on the on the other side of it, right, if Keldeo locks into a fighting move, that could give you a potential setup uh, Quiver Dance with Volcarona. So Volcarona definitely looks like it could be scary, but it like for it to be a real threat, it has to be like a very specific uh, set. Like it has to be like Fire Blast, Giga Drain, HP Ground to be really good, unless he's able to... Um, you know, lure the, like, for example, if he doesn't have Giga Drain, he has to have ways of luring the Keldeo, or chipping the Keldeo, luring the Jellicent. Uh, if he's HP Groundless, he has to be able to pretty much eliminate the Tran, because Tran four times resists all the other moves. Um, so yeah, uh, Volcarona definitely, if the right thing dies on Blunder's side, Volcarona could become a huge threat. Uh, yeah, also the Superior should be decently checked, because there's a Scarf Lando, a Spex Hydreigon, and a... Um, and a Spadef Tran. But yeah, uh, Empoleon's really interesting. I guess that's more of a matchup pick. Uh, thinking that it'd do well against what Blunder usually brings. But I, I don't really like Empoleon very much. Uh, but I guess, yeah, Defog's on Tran, which is going to be good this game. So uh, good prep by CBB. We'll hop right in. We see Keldeo and Keldeo. So you already know CBB's got no Keldeo switching. So he had to lead off with something that could chip the Keldeo. So he leads off with his own Keldeo. Uh, that's Scarf Damage. And unfortunately, we see a dodge focus blast, which would have O-Code CBB's Keldeo. Uh, but really, CBB, I think, was willing to throw out his Keldeo, but he needed the damage desperately on this, uh, because this is a ridiculous threat. So yeah, uh, hard into Lando on a potential another focus blast, but there's no way Blunder's going to potentially risk a roll or just let Keldeo get that weakened right away. There's no way. The, the Keldeo is too important for him. So he goes into Jellicent. Uh, CBB just throws up the rocks as uh, Blunder scalds. Uh, Blunder is free to Scald again, maybe Wisp. Uh, this is like... that. I don't know what type of Lando this is. Uh, I would assume it's like defensive, um, but I'm not sure. Um, he HP Ices, trying to catch uh, Blunder Scarf Landers. It's Life Orb. Damn, so if he would have Earthquake, that would have done a lot to the Jellicent. Um, but either way, Blunder's play was Wisp, I think, anyway. Uh, that was a perfectly fine play. Um, I guess catching Scarf Lando would make uh, Superior a lot more threatening. But now, um, yeah, the Blunder just wisped, which was I think was always his play anyway. So good, that was a uh, uh, good play by him. Um, and now we see the uh, double out of Serp into the Keldeo, catching the Tran. Really solid double by CBB. Uh, Blunder's Tran is Spadefto, and this is, yeah, exactly. So this Keldeo is Scarf, so the most it's going to do to Tran is like 50%. Uh, 50, if, it's, if it's Secret Sword, it's probably a little more, because like this is Spadef. But um, the Jellicent was so obvious that Blunder decided to click rocks. Worst case, he loses like 60%, but he still gets his rocks up in the long run. So I agree with that play uh, by from Blunder. Uh, Empoleon comes in, going to defog here for the Volcarona, of course. Uh, he actually just Hydro's first, trying to catch Blunder on a potential stay-in on defog. Uh, he'll defog now, though. But there's no reason not to. Uh, we don't see leftovers on the Empoleon, so it's likely some sort of berry, potentially uh, Chopple or um, or Shuka, and double out of Hydreigon on the Keldeo. Uh, Blunder's not going to want to stay in here, like same thing as before, he wants to keep health on the Keldeo, uh, but I think Blunder's really hard pressed to not click a move with the Hydreigon, because that actually could give Volk setup, if it Dracos or if it Dark Pulses, because uh, Volk's, Volk's obvious, ooh, HP ground, uh, that didn't do shit, dude. Serp is so bad. My god. 65? <laughs> so bad. Uh, goes land on potential HP ground. Gets Leaf Stormed and dies in one. Uh, that was a super solid play by CBB. That was a fire play. This Metagross has Bullet Punch. So CBB saves uh, the Superior. Goes into the, um, the Empoleon. 
Uh, so this is probably Shuka if he, because he knows that the Metacross has Earthquake. It's probably Shuka. He feels comfortable going into the uh, Empoleon, but it actually doubles out to Lando on a potential EQ. Uh, but also just doubles out to Lando to get the rocks up on the double. Uh, that was a really good play. Get the rocks up and. Um, because what else was Lando doing that game? Goes back to Empoleon. Blunder's got to uh, be afraid of the potential Shookaberry. So he goes into uh, his Keldeo. Eats up the Hydro Pump. And now could throw off a Focus Blast. I think's fine. Um, Focus Blast gives uh, Volcarona setup. But I don't think at this moment there's no Volk set that could beat your whole team. So I think it's okay. Uh, he goes to Metagross. Takes 83 from the Scald. And now CBB uh, could bullet punch if he has it. So Blunder scouts for bullet punch by going into the uh, the Jellicent. Does a solid 12. And um, yeah, if CBB... Uh, okay, so we see the Hydreigon pivot on Zen. Awesome play. Uh, once again, Blunder might be afraid of locking into a move to give Volcarona setup. So he might just double out here. Um... Not letting you know, not giving Volcarona the opportunity to set up. That's always a good way to play it. This is a, something that people on ladder, especially, do really poorly against Volcarona. Uh, they always tend to um, even if they'll get the kill when they could take it, even if it means something will be able to set up in the back. That's something that a lot of people are really bad at. Uh, Bullet punch, kill the Serp back into the. I'm assuming Shookaberry uh, Empoleon uh, back into the Hydreigon, and now we know. Uh, yep, Blunder's doubling again into the Gross. Uh, I think Blunder could go... He could attempt to pivot around this, I guess. He could go into Hydreigon again on potential Earthquake or Hammer Arm. Uh, I think would be a play. Because the, uh, Blunder's Metagross does have Pursuit. So if CBB's Metagross uh, Hammer Arms, then uh, Blunder Pursuit traps it. So he does go Hydreigon because it covers Earthquake. Uh, and if he hammer arms, then he just traps. Then he just traps the Metagross. And uh, the the thing is, the Hydreigon was more of a liability to Blunder than like even though it could kill everything, it was still a liability because like I said, it gives being locked in with the Volcarona on the other side is never really good. Uh, and I was mentioning this before, but they were playing too fast. The Volcarona is faster than the Hydreigon, so even if Hydreigon Dark Pulse locks, uh, you get the plus one before they get the next Dark Pulse off, so it actually gives you two quivers, uh, which is really bad, of course. Uh, Sacks the Heatran. Uh, goes into Keldeo, uh, misses the pump, which the reason he pumped is uh, because pump would put this in range of the Metagross, plus it doesn't let the Volcarona set up, which is why pump, pump was always the play, uh, but unfortunately he missed. Uh, but now we go to the Metagross, uh, double into the Jellicent, predicting the uh, the Hydro Pump to come out. Yep, uh, not falling for the Shookaberry, uh, which he assumes is there. Uh, CBB will probably go into Keldeo now, and it forces a 50-50 between Scald and uh, Toxic. So if he gets a Toxic off on a Jellicent, the game's pretty much over to me. Um, but he doubles into Empoleon. His Blunder uh, reads that he wouldn't Toxic and just taunts. I guess Taunt also covers what, a double to, to Volk, but there's no way that you're going Volk there. Because on the potential, like if Blunder goes uh, if Blunder goes Metagross on the, on the Volcarona switch, then CBB's in a really bad spot. So there's no way that that was ever happening. Um... If anything, CBB wants to try and get the QD up on the Jellicent, especially if it has Giga Drain. Um, if the if the Volcarona has Giga Drain and it's able to Quiver Dance up once on the uh, Jellicent, the game's over. Uh, which it definitely could have Giga because you have the HP Ground Serp to lure the to lure Heatrans, so you don't necessarily need HP Ground. Is the way that I'm looking at it. Uh, but yeah, if the Volcarona. Uh, has Giga Drain, then I think CBB is in a phenomenal spot. If it doesn't have Giga Drain, I don't even think it could beat the Jellicent 1v1. Uh, and it can't Quiver Dance up on the Metagross because uh, Metagross Zen does 90 and then you just bullet punch and kill it. So, yeah. Uh, and then Jellicent obviously walls the other two members. So all you need is the all you would need is the Zen headbutt damage on the Volcarona, and then at that moment, uh, uh, Jellicent wins the game. So we see Taunt on. This was another 50-50 between Toxic and Scald, and Blunder wins it again. Uh, Keeps taunting the, the, the uh, keeps taunting the Keldeo to make sure that the the Volcarona can't come in on a potential uh, on a potential um, like Volcarona can't come in and get a QD. That's why he kept taunting. But then Blunder makes a really solid play going Metagross because he doesn't want the Keldeo to die to burn and give Volcarona the free turn of setup. So, uh, great play. Um, and people in the chat are saying it's a choke, but like you have to also realize these are noobs that don't really play the game and they're. Yeah, they just came here to spectate. They're kind of bad, so don't don't listen to them. Uh, Blunder had to make that play to not give Volcarona a setup. Then we had maybe a 50-50. I don't really think it was a 50-50 that much, but uh, CBB going Volcarona, predicting the Jellicent, and he gets 
um, he gets done headbutted and that's game over. Because now all this has to do is Earthquake. Even if this lives through Shookaberry, uh, then Jellison will be able to finish off the game. So, yeah, a couple things I want to talk about there. Because the ending, like, they played super fast. They played, like, 40 turns in, like, 9 minutes. Look at this chat! Good lord! Um... They're, like I see, like I don't think they agree with CBB's play of going Volcarona, but I'm gonna try and talk about it a little bit, right? So, well, if Volca if CBB's Volcarona had Giga Drain, then that was 100% a choke, because if it had Giga Drain, you just stay in and with the uh, you just stay in with the Empoleon until it dies. So you either kill the Metagross or he goes Jellicent. You stay in until the Empoleon dies, and then you quiver with Volk and win. Uh, the reason why he went hard Volcarona, and now that the game's over, I'll tell you guys now, because I obviously watched this game live and saw what CBB said in the chat and stuff, the Volcarona did not have Giga Drain. So what he was trying to do was get the Volcarona in on the Jellicent and potentially get the one Quiver Dance up and then try and 1v1 the Jellicent with the Volk. You could do that with crits, with Spadef drops, um, but like, I don't think it would win a 1v1 without some sort of hacks. Uh, but if it was able to get that situation where it was able to, like, Spadef drop the Jellicent or something like that, then CBB would have won. So that's where he took his chance there to make the double the Volk and just go for it. Uh, Blunder, I think his play was always just to stay in and, and click Zen. I think that was fine. Um, and, yeah, um, that play worked out. But, like, for him, I think because if if uh, Volk was able to QD up and uh, if, if Volk could QD up and beat the jellison anyway it wouldn't have mattered if the metagross was dead or not so he at that point he might as well just stay in right so yeah uh that's how i see that but yeah um blunder won won this game uh so that puts the tyrants up 2-0 for the week their first place uh right now in spl and they're gonna be the one seed for playoffs looking like the favorites to win the trophy so good luck to all the tyrants uh, I want to say that this game was super fun to watch. Uh, both really good players, and I thought they both played really solidly. Uh, and yeah, it, it was it was a great game. Um, yeah, I don't. There's not really much else to say about that. Like you watch a lot of games where there's like a lot of like questionable plays being made, and people take like two minutes per turn. Uh, I appreciate that Blunder and CBB just played super fast and played really. They both played super aggressively and played really solidly, and uh, Blunder was able to come out on top. Uh, yeah, if you guys uh, like the video, make sure you know you give my my man Daco some likes, some comments, subscribes, and until next time, Ultra Balls out, peace.